Okay, just glad it might be a little cold out there. We're not dealing, having to shovel snow. We're not snow. shoveling snow. Exactly. Yes. Let's check in with Storm Tracker meteorologist <laughs> Grace Anello. Uh, a warm up on the way. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Yeah. Warmer this afternoon, Chris, than we have been the last few days, but then we'll cool back off again tonight to well below average and close to freezing yet again. Take a look at the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network, 1148 a.m. We are completely cloud-free and completely rain-free today, and we'll stay that way through tomorrow afternoon, but not for very much longer after that. The Way 31 Sky Camera Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction, looking fantastic today. I mean, honestly, so beautiful. Bright blue skies, not a cloud out in the sky, really looking wonderful, but feeling a bit deceptive as those temperatures are still hanging out in the mid 40s and you'll definitely want the coat as you head out the door. Now our high temperature this afternoon will sit in the upper 50s with plenty of sunshine and the slightest hint of a breeze, but we'll keep those clear skies. And we've talked about this before, but those clouds overnight, those act as a blanket and keep heating close to the surface. So when we have clear skies and we take those away, that opens the door for us to get much colder. And that's where we'll sit tonight is in the mid 30s, some of us even at that freezing mark yet again. So keep that extra blanket on the bed. Now I am tracking rain Thursday night into Friday, but the good news is it's just one day of rain this week. We'll have plenty of sun on the backside of that as well. All right, let me walk you through the timing of what you can expect. It all starts very late in the night, early in the morning hours on Friday, about two o'clock in the morning. And that stays with us in widespread amount all across the valley, even as we're starting to wake up. When you first head out the door Friday at 730, it's rain all across the region. Now it is not storms and it is not particularly heavy rain so there's no need to worry about a severe threat but still you should bring your umbrella with you as you head out the door. Now the new information with the most recent radar update is that this system is moving a lot faster. It's attached to a cold front so as this continues to push east it's going to get out of our system much sooner than we thought a few days ago. By the time you head home from work at 5 30 on your Friday to start your weekend that rain will be seriously diminishing and by the time we get to dinner time and just after on your St. Patrick's Day conditions will be dry. Here's your weekend preview as we are getting close. Wake up temperatures both days are going to be very cold below freezing talking upper 20s and near 30. Now we'll rebound just so slightly with temperatures in the low 50s but then on Sunday we're back to temperatures in the upper 40s and feeling quite cold yet again. The silver lining of it all well we'll have plenty of unobstructed sunshine all weekend long. So it's a bit of a mixed bag the next few days but the most consistent factor is those colder temperatures. Our warmest day of the week is going to be Thursday and Friday, but like we talked about, there's that all-day rain on Friday. We're frigid again this weekend, especially as we wake up, and we'll really keep those temperatures around to start next work week as well.